What's up guys, my name is Dale from Creator Pro website and in this video we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head match of Elementor versus Divi. These are two very popular page builders for WordPress and especially if you're a beginner, page builders are a gift sent from the heavens if you want to design beautiful websites without touching a single line of code. But you're probably here because you're not sure which one you should use to build your website. So let's get that answered. So I'm gonna be putting Elementor and Divi head to head for a few different categories, which are interface and ease of use, customization modules, pre-made template options, price, and an overall recommendation at the end. All right, so with that said, let's get this match started. First up, we've got interface and ease of use. Now, Divi and Elementor are both visual drag and drop builders, so they're easier to use than almost anything out there. But let's talk about Elementor first. If you want to put a new element on your website, like a button, you can do so by dragging it from a list in the sidebar on the left. And this sidebar is also where you can edit each element on your website. So depending on whether you click on a section, a column, or a widget, the settings will change accordingly all inside this left-hand sidebar. So all your settings are in one place. While in Divi, if you want to add a new element to your site, you can just click on the plus button to open up a new module inside of whatever section that you want. And to edit anything on your site, you can just click on the gear icon for any individual section or module, which will open up a pop-up window with all of the customization tools you need all inside of it. So you're constantly working in a full screen environment. And this pop-up window can also be dragged to the left to create a sidebar, just like Elementor, if you prefer that. So Divi does get a point for that. Divi also lets you edit on the back end as well, but most people use the front end visual builder, so I don't think that's quite worth an extra point. Also, with Divi, it's slightly more confusing to separate heading text from paragraph text, because you edit them in the same place. While in Elementor, it has its own separate element just for heading text, which is a little bit easier to duplicate and edit in my personal opinion. So that's a point for Elementor also. But Divi gets another point because they make it very easy to create custom padding and margins around elements by dragging the colored space around them. While in Elementor, you just have to go into the advanced settings to add numerical values into the padding or margin boxes in order to change them or you have to drag in a special spacer widget and adjust the slider in the left-hand sidebar to add more space. And both also support inline text editing, which is where you can type text directly onto your site instead of just in the editing menus, which is a point for both. So I'm gonna have to call this first round a draw because you really can't go wrong with either interface. I personally prefer to have everything in one sidebar off to the left like Elementor, but I know plenty of people love to have the pop-up windows like Divi. Okay, next up, we've got customization modules. The free version of Elementor has about 48 modules or elements that you can drag and drop onto your site and customize. That's including the basic elements as well as the WordPress specific elements, which I don't really use that much. But you can install a free plugin called Essential Add-ons for Elementor and that will give you roughly 28 extra elements that you can use, including a pricing table, a countdown, and more. For a free page builder, this is a generous amount of customization tools. And then Elementor Pro gives you even more. While Divi gives you exactly 46 modules to choose from to customize your website. And although I believe Divi allows you to customize each module a little bit further than Elementor, I have to give this round to Elementor because even the free version has a few more options than Divi. Okay, next up we've got pre-made templates. Pre-made templates are a godsend if you want to save a ton of time coming up with the overall design of your website. Elementor has about 40 full page templates that are completely free for you to use on your website. And Elementor Pro basically doubles this number of available templates. You can tell if it's a free or a pro template by looking for the little pro icon at the top right of the template preview. And the free version does not have this icon. So the free version of Elementor also comes with over 150 
free block templates that can be used for smaller individual sections on your website, such as a contact section or a meet the team section, product galleries, and more. And once again, with Elementor Pro, the number of available block templates you can use nearly doubles. You can also get even more free templates outside of the Elementor basic library by going with a theme like Astra. Astra provides you with a bunch of pre-made websites already ready to go that you can edit using Elementor. In fact, I have a whole step-by-step -step tutorial for how to make a beautiful parallax website using the Elementor page builder with the Astra theme. And I will put a link to that in the description, so check that out if you're looking to make a website. And the whole thing's free. So now for Divi. Divi has 127 layouts and counting because they add a new one to the list every week. And these are actually layout packs, meaning that each pre-made layout comes with several pages inside that are all designed to look consistent. So you have home pages, contact pages, shop pages, landing pages, and more. And they're all branded with the same look, so everything you need for your website is ready to go. So we're gonna give this round to Divi because you just can't beat the convenience of those packs. Next up, we've got price. Elementor has both a free option and a pro option. And the free option has an incredibly generous amount of features and customization tools, which is why it's so popular. So if you've never used Elementor before, then I suggest going with the free version and then you can always upgrade later if you want more bells and whistles with the pro version. The pro version starts out at $49 a year for one site, or at $99 a year for three sites, or $199 a year for 1,000 sites, which might as well say unlimited. And again, this is just the Elementor pro version, so I will put a link in the description if you want to go check that out or see some of the extra features that it includes. Divi does not have a free option. Divi starts out at $89 a year but it has unlimited website usage, so you can use it for as many of your own websites as you want. Or it's $249 for life, so this is a one-time payment and you have unlimited usage for life, which is actually a much better deal if you know you're gonna be using Divi for three or more years. And I've also put a link to Divi in the description as well if you wanna see what else it includes. Now, I was tempted to call this one a draw because of Divi's unlimited website usage, but you just can't beat the free version of Elementor. At literally no cost, you can download Elementor and start building beautiful websites. So I'm gonna give this round to Elementor. All right guys, so now it's time for my overall recommendation. Because these two are so closely matched with benefits and users are happy on both sides of the fence, there's really no clear winner. But I want to help you make your choice, so here's a little bit of direction to help you figure out which one to use. If you're a beginner who's just getting started and maybe you're not quite sure if you want to stick with web design yet or not, and you just kind of want to dip your toes in the water, then get Elementor. The free version gives you a no-cost investment to get started with making websites. Now, if you've built a website before and you know that you enjoy it and you just want to become a better designer, then get Divi. It's a great addition to your web design tool belt because it's got slightly more customization options than Elementor and it's got unlimited website use. So again, I've got a link in the description if you wanna check out Divi. All right guys, that's it for this match. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this or step-by-step -step tutorials for how to make beautiful websites like a professional, then please consider subscribing to my channel. You will not be sorry. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.